Hi, a Scorpio. I'm Nan, and this is Silky Intuitive. Uh, thank you all for being here, and we want to take a look for November, December, and going into January. This is for Scorpio, your for Scorpio, yeah, your um, loves double cross reading. It has been revised. It is a destiny reading. I think we're getting some of these couples situations that are reaching that pinnacle, that final revelation. I have one more to lay out here. It is that one further step to bring a situation to a culmination, whether it ends, whether it continues. We're taking a look. Some relationships are really coming to an end. Um, I can see that this one uh, may come to an end too. I don't see definite endings here, but I do see deceptions going on. Nice. Okay. That was too many. I only need three. Let's give it one more quick shuffle. I'm on my last reading for today. So, yes, the cards are a little anxious to finish. It's been a questionable day of readings. The energies on these. We've got a lot of breakups happening. Hopefully, this is better for you. I don't know. Somebody here has an eye for the ladies. In fact, maybe somebody is dealing with a man that not only has one affair going, but three. I'm not quite sure how this is going. Let's... Now, I don't know why this is here. Okay. What do I do with this? This, I, I managed to cut the cards where the only card in the deck had been flipped up by accident. So I, there's no mystery here. I have to take it. It's going to crown you. It's talking about secrets, mysteries. And I kind of had a feeling, because everybody's readings are like this, plus we've got one person in this scenario for Scorpio, and it may even be Scorpio yourself, who is actually finding finding their happiness in life with a questionable relationship with many women. I'm just saying I get a lot of female energy here. If this is a husband we're talking about, he's not only got one fire on, on the flame, he's got three or more going here. Uh, we've also got someone working towards their prosperity. Someone concentrating on what they're manifesting. And look at this. The Ace of Wands. The horny card itself. The card that talks about that man who just cannot keep himself honest. Especially when we are completely lined up with an assortment of female energy. I think here we're dealing with someone who has a passion for sex, maybe has a partner at home, well probably does if you're watching this reading and you're saying to yourself, well shit, that's my husband, well then we're probably getting to it with you then. Let's see. Okay, this is how we've broken it down. One side is you, the other side is your partner. It's up to you to decide which side of this scenario you're going to sit on. Um, okay. Uh, also, I've got roadblocks here. And we've also got guidance. And at the end of this reading, at my Vimeo channel with the Tarot of Sexual Magic, we're going to look at this couple 
and their intimate lives. I have to wonder, before I even go there, is one of these people have a totally separate life away from their partner? Now, we have a devoted partner on one side of things. This is a partner who has put up with a lot. I can say that right now because of what is appearing in this column with this partner. Whoever you are, whichever part you play in the scenario, if it's resonating for you already, it's probably for you. It's up to you to decide which side of this scenario you're on. First, we've got the Princess of Wands or the Queen of Wands. Or, I'm sorry, uh, this would be um, like the Knave. Okay? Uh, this, yeah, this, here's the Queens. This would be more along the lines of the Knaves. So we have a Princess of Wands here, a fiery energy, someone with passion, desire, a pretty good path in life because underneath it, they've drawn the Six of Wands. So we have success, a relatively good member stand, with standing in the community, uh, someone who actually has a lot of love to give, but they're actually looking at a new relationship or a new startup of an old relationship. And I think this is someone who's looking forward to a new relationship. That comes in on the Prince of Swords. So I do think this person is starting new with someone. We have the Magician here. This person could be ex experiencing this manifestation with a younger air sign, male or female, it doesn't matter. But someone has a younger, maybe only slightly younger, but a more younger energy, I want to say, as themselves. But they're manifesting this thing. They're taking their time and they're bringing it in on a cup of love. But there is a sense of this person knows what they're doing. It's as if what they're looking to manifest with a new person is going to come about. This person, I think, is someone that they know in their community. Now, this is someone's partner who is already looking outside of their relationship. Probably because on this side of the reading, a partner has the Princess of Swords, the Princess of Wands, and the Queen of Cups here, all in alignment. Now, this can be your energy being drawn in, being represented here by this Queen of Cups. That can absolutely be you, which would mean you're standing in this column. This column has a lot of additional female energy now. You may be someone who's just surrounded by women. Day in and day out. But I think with passion ignited here, you're probably having, or someone in this scenario, is probably having their way with all of these energies. So if this is you, and someone is delivering you this Ten of Cups kind of passion, just know that this offer here with the Four of Cups is probably being made to more than just one person. So if someone new is coming your way, this may be energy that they like to pass around. This is something that they may be like to... I mean, they seem to me, and the La La Jaleza isn't care, but it seems to me that someone in this scenario travels from flower to flower to flower, and they like to get around, basically. So we've got someone who may have already separated or has considered starting over something fresh and new 
because we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Can this can be something that someone is doing independently new at their foundation. It's a new beginning. And here with the Ace of Cups, it seems to me that someone is reaching out from a situation that they've been in and can wait for certain prosperity and love to come to them. The other person just gets around. They have like a variety plate of, of suitors and they just go from one to another to another making this offer and sometimes it's going to be refused. Just know that someone in the scenario is turning this partner down and it may actually be this person who is actively rejecting this because they know that this person is incredibly unfaithful. We have that here with Lanamico. This man who's a fake, who's a phony, who offers joy and happiness, but nothing with this person ever really produces because they're too busy pollinating all the women in the neighborhood. Jeez, no. Sorry. All right, so here we've got... I'm a mess. Okay. <laughs> here we've got... Let's take a look at what these people have brought to the past now. Because I'm actually getting a little irritated with this energy here because it, it, it's, it's feeling almost ridiculous that this person has gotten away with the things that they have maybe for years. I'm hearing for years somebody has carried on like the neighborhood gigolo right under his wife's nose and somebody's finished with it. Starting over. Starting over, both in financially, but in love too. Now, we have this devil character. This falls in the past position. Now, the devil can be talking about an earth sign of Capricorn. In particular, if you are, if you have Capricorn in your chart, sun, moon, or rising, this can be reflective of you. And you're sitting on this side of the reading. If not, you are dealing with someone that has incredibly bad behaviors. Especially where the other sex is concerned. Or if you're in a same-sex relationship, they cheat too. I got news for you guys. So, if you're in the same-sex relationships, yes, your partner can cheat, too. So, but we're moving on here. We like this energy. This is in your guidance. But back to the devil. We know the devil. He's all about that negative behavior. But this is someone running from the negative behavior. Especially with this princess of wands in the middle. It's a desire. It's the drive it's the drive to leave this behind because the prince he leaves he gets on his horse and he rides away so there's movement around the situation movement outward including the six of wands there's movement here too and with manifestation we can easily manage that movement here so there is movement around and Coming up in the f future for this person, there may be some ups and downs, especially financially. There may be some juggling here and there to make the road manageable, but it's not unmanageable. So for one person in this situation, even though they're starting out fresh with finances and with love, they're manifesting something positive. Something that is going to bring forth a better uh, results for them. But here, overshadowing the whole thing is the Queen of Swords. She talks about the, sever the severing of the situation. I'm feeling her energy as a legal maneuver of some kind to separate these two people. Or maybe this is spirit saying, 
a lot of secrets, a lot of lies. With the shadow card in between these two people, that it may be time to remove the situation because of someone's outward deception with many, many, many partners. <clears throat> now, what this person brought to the situation, this other person, with this many partners, what they brought is many questions. Many questions and a need for forgiveness with the judgment card. A need to forgive and a need to move on. Because with judgment we have a rising from the ashes. We have a survival mode that comes with decisions that come from the judgment card. But decisions have to be made here. Choices are made with this person. But they can't seem to leave this pattern behind. But there's a choice in front of them. And they need to choose. Do they choose the negative patterns that they have been showing in the past? Do they uncover the secrets and move on? Do they keep their secrets and keep going down the same path? I'm not sure. Let's look at the roadblocks that face these two people. First, we have the stanza, the empty room, lack of communication, uh, possibly no sexual um, interaction between these two people. Because one person, honestly, is coming across right now as a sexual addict. Somebody in this scenario is moving away from someone who has a sexual addiction. Because, it, and it's right here in the home. The, uh, the, I want to say the abuses of this non-communicative type of situation has been a very sick situation in one couple's relationship. Um, one of the roadblocks here may just be getting out for whoever is looking for a way out of this. The way out may have more to do with finances than anything else. More than the desire, it's about the finances and the ability to move on. But we have prosperity begins here. So I think you're going to find a solution for the moving on. Now, the next roadblock we have is the Donate. Like I said, the Donate. La Dona di Servicio and Alegria. So I think what we're looking at here is a better... Better opportunities around money will make the situation a lot better. It will give a much better completion with a better, more optimistic outlook financially. So again, like I think somebody wants to remove themselves if they haven't already. But they're having difficulties because of the finances involved simply with moving. The other roadblock that these three people have, and I, I want to put a warning label on this. This person, you need to be aware of activities going on. If you're still with this person, if you are still physically with this person, and you maybe are trying to work it out, you should know that no matter what this person may have told you in the past, you need to be aware that they may very well still be lying. You need to keep your eyes open. Keep yourself focused on the fact that no matter what this person says to you, no matter what demeanor they present to you, they may still very well be lying 
lying to your face. So, I think that's what I've got. You've got someone who's lying. It's connected to a string of lovers, male or female. It doesn't matter. We've got roadblocks to get around. One, somebody bringing their lies right into our homes, needing to get away from this energy. But finances is a real problem for someone and looking for a better financial outlook for you maybe even getting an extra job here and i hate to say that because it's really it it hurts sometimes to have to do that especially if you have children family in the picture but if it's what you have to do i think some of you are putting your in the place yourself in the place of deciding to cut someone loose, take on more responsibility to cover your ass, to cover your expenses, so that you can remove yourself from a situation where unfortunately somebody has had a string of repeat love situations. I have almost a representative of every sign here for this person. So just know that decisions need to be made. They are being made. But for someone, a better financial footing will be the solution to their problem. Well, now, if you want to, we're going to take a look at uh, intimacy. Now, the intimacy reading can talk about these two people or it can talk about you maybe meeting up with this new love. This new love that you're going to manifest, whether you're trying to or not. You have a younger energy. Aries, or I, I'm sorry, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Sun, moon, or rising coming at you. And there is uh, real happiness in that situation once you can remove from something, whoever this is for. Once you can remove from this situation, much better days and manifestation are in your path. Okay, I'm going over to Vimeo now. Again, Scorpio, for a reading meant just for you. Go to my Weebly website. Navigate around, there's only three pages. Go to the readings page. Tell me what you want on the contact page. And I'll get back to you with that PayPal invoicing. It's the only way it works. You cannot send me money electronically through my email. Whatever you're trying to do to pay me, the only way my system works is through PayPal invoicing. And I send that to you myself. And when you have a reading from me, you will understand why. I like that little bit of contact, it helps me open up to your energy. And until the next time, Scorpio, take care of yourself. Take care of one another and peace.